Hey everyone, it's Jomo again, and guess what? I have more unboxing to do. I sent another order in. Maybe I have a problem. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting too many games graded, but when there's deals, uh, it's hard to pass up. I think there was a nice, what, it's like 17% off, 20% off, so, you know, I thought there'd be no better time to get some games graded uh, now after that deal. So, let's get started and see what we got. You can see the box is taking some damage, so hopefully the packaging did its job. Alright, our first game here is Dead or Alive 4 for the Xbox 360. I think this was a Xbox 360 exclusive at the time. Japanese, got a lot of Japanese fighting games that I sent to WADA. So, uh, let's see here. It's supposed to be a 9.6A is what I'm going for. Last time I sent some games in, it seemed like everything I was sending in got way better grades than what I, in, I estimated. So, we'll see what goes on here. So, 9.6A. Wow, 9.6a, exactly as I thought. Wow, okay, that's pretty cool. Definitely not the best grade, but, uh, you know, I remember when this game came out, it just looked beautiful for the time. It was just really, really nice graphics for the 360, and I think it was when it just first came out. But yeah, yeah it's pretty cool in game, not the best grade, but uh, yeah, uh, at least I know what I was, what I got, so. Okay. We got Final Fantasy 13 2. I was guessing a 9.2 A++. I think I saw an 8.5. I didn't mean to look at it, but yeah, it's an 8.5. Crack in the case. Front and spine. <sighs> Pretty bad. I paid $15 for this game, but ugh. ugh. Yeah, I'll probably be getting rid of this one. <laughs> it's too bad. Okay, so we got Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I think this is the first print, all black in the, the back of the cover. Remember this game came out, man, I got my butt whipped by pros that were playing uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And I was like, how are you guys so good at this game already? The game just came out. For this one, 9.6 A plus is what we're aiming for. And 9.6. 4A plus, ugh, man. It's not looking too good. It's not looking too good. All right, we got Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. So I guess this to be a 9.8A plus plus with a slip cover of 8.5. Woohoo! Yeah, all right, sick. Okay, 9.8A plus plus with a 9.0. Uh, cover a slip cover so sick Pretty much the best grade you can get just shy of 10, but yeah, I, I think I picked this up for $20 <laughs> So I was like yeah, I'm picking this up for sure. It's beautiful Well, yeah, it says right there on the price tag <laughs> Perfect <laughs> Very happy about this. This is this is good. Let's hope that this continues and not what was going on with the last three games. All right, Street Fighter 4. This is a very important game in the Street Fighter franchise. It kind of gave new life to the franchise. It saved the franchise. This is a Japanese copy. I think it's a first print. I'm thinking this is supposed to be a 9.6 A++. This should be pretty good. Let's hope this is good. Yeah, oh yeah, 9.8 A++. All right, sick. Oh yeah, this is good, okay. We're definitely making up for the losses originally, but yeah, I mean like, oh, that's great. So on the back here, let's see what this says. Uh, Legend of Chun-Li sticker. Okay, so that's what that Japanese sticker is here. It's talking about, uh, I guess, maybe a TV show or something. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, this is this is awesome. This is perfect. This is, this is, this is, ex ah. this is great. <laughs> oh yeah, very happy about this. So this is what's so fun about getting games graded, honestly, is opening them up and seeing what the grades are. So I got this one at a very good price, I think I paid like $40. I don't really care too much about the grade. This game was awesome. Another game where it 
revitalized uh, the franchise. Fire Emblem wasn't that popular, um, only because of Melee, really, that uh, kept it going in North America, or it started to. But Awakening, man, this game is great. This is a wonderful Fire Emblem game to get started on if you haven't ever played any. 9.2 B+. Whoa, wow. Wow, oh, that's great. The, the seal was even twice higher grade, 9.4, oh, cool. Excellent. See, I love that case. I love how that, how thin it looks. Oh, that's just, that's beautiful. Oh, it's a Canadian version, okay. Huh, cool. Yeah, 9.4, A+. Having an A plus seal is definitely what you want. If it's an A or B plus, it's just, ah, it's almost like you need the A plus just to be on par. I'm very happy with this. This is even better than I thought. So yeah, everything's cool. Yeah. All right, another Fire Emblem. We got a number of different Fire Emblem games coming up here. 9.4 A+. Well, here we go again. Where I think the, the grade is much lower and it's way higher. 9.8 A+. Dang, I, I honestly, I'm stunned. 9.8 A+. I have not too much to say. You know, when the game gets such a high grade, it's like, what is there to say? Of course, I'm ecstatic, I'm happy. Uh, yeah, so really cool. I love this game. This was definitely, I think, the better choice between Birthright. Much harder, uh, definitely. I mean, both games have their problems, but uh, yeah. Very happy with the grade, and yeah, just very pleasantly surprised. We got Ocarina of Time. Ooh. With this one, 9.6 A+, I'm hoping for. All right, here we go. 9.8 A+, sweet. Even better. Ah, oh, it's not a first, it's not a first print, unfortunately. It's a, you see the B there. It's like the second print Canadian copy. But still, very nice uh, grade. Yeah, I forgot about that. Sweet. Those first couple of games were, were scaring me a little bit there. It was getting a little, a little dangerous. So this one's really cool. I love the cover art. Panzer Dragoon, Japanese edition. So I'm guessing a 9.4 A+. Let's see what we got. 9.6 A+. I really like how Wada has translated, or at least told us on the back, a little bit of the extra information that the sticker uh, states in the, in the Japanese. Yeah, just a really, really cool looking game compared to the uh, English release. And I think that's really what's one part that's really fun about Japanese games is that the artwork is different. And, uh, you know, they're trying to cater to that audience in a different way that they would for North America or in Europe. So everyone knows about this game, Third Strike for the Dreamcast. I think that's the original release. Yeah, Oh, or are you looking at it? Tilted. Man, this is bad. This is bad. This is, you know, if you watch my other video, you know how bad it could get, but this is pretty bad. So we're looking for a 9.4 A++. A 9.8 A+. <laughs> well, looks like I have to ship more stuff back to WADA. I'm happy about the grade, like that's great, but then it's just, it's like I don't have the game yet, because obviously I'm not going to keep it like this, so. Very, very unfortunate that um, this is like, continuous problem like I don't want to I want to understand like why this is happening like I hope someone didn't look at this and just said oh ship it anyway because that that would just be terrible quality control but uh other than that it's great 9.8 a plus that's awesome you know uh your perfect grade awesome title really happy to have it but obviously we're gonna have to send it back to get it uh, recentered so that's how it goes sometimes so continuing with the Fire Emblem theme, we have, I believe, Fire Emblem Mystery of the Emblem. So this is uh, a Japanese only title. This was not released in North America. Um, it's sort of like, well, I'm not gonna explain it, but <laughs> it's gonna take too much time maybe. Oh, I don't even have a grade for it. <laughs> I don't even know what my estimation for this grade is, but off the top of my head, I'm gonna say 9.6 A. 9.6 A plus, cool, good. I'm, I'm content with that. Really cool cover, love. Marth on there, and I can't remember the other dude's name on the cover. Yeah, new mystery of the emblem. My mistake. Presents really well. I especially like it, you know, the blue goes really well with Wada's um, logo. 
So I was really happy I waited to go with WADA um, with this game. But anyway, yeah, happy with this grade and it's a good pickup. Awesome. This next one I'm nervous about. So when I sent it in, I thought it was going to be sealed. It was not. The outer box looks terrible. I have no idea if the contents are even complete, but this is Animal Forest, which is the very first Animal Crossing game. It's Japanese. Based on the box condition, I'm thinking maybe a 7.5, but hopefully the contents inside will be pristine. <laughs> so here we go. What's the average? I don't know. Cart 9.6, 9.6, I've got to turn this around. I can't see. 8.5 CIB complete. Matching components made in Japan, packed included, controller pack included. Okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I think I paid like, uh, I don't even want to say how much I paid for this, thinking it was new, but obviously not the most good looking copy, but definitely not as bad as I thought it could be, so. Yeah.